engineers decommissioning Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant have been given a clue to help solve a big mystery. They need to remove melted fuel from inside the crippled reactors, but so far they haven't been able to find it. New X-ray-like photos of one of the reactors confirm the nuclear fuel has melted through the core, highlighting the seriousness of the situation. Three of the plant's six reactors suffered meltdowns in the March 2011 accident. Extremely high radiation levels have prevented experts from going inside to find the molten fuel. Since February, they have been observing a type of elementary particle called a muon to get a peek inside the reactor. Muons are created when cosmic rays hit the Earth's atmosphere. Experts released this image. The white part in the center is the containment vessel. When compared with the diagram of the structure, it appears there's no fuel inside the nuclear core. On the right, a storage pool for spent nuclear fuel looks black, indicating the existence of fuel. I hope the result can be helpful to decommission the reactors. Experts say it's harder to remove molten fuel, which is no longer in the core. Another nuclear facility is preparing to resume operations. A utility in southwestern Japan has applied for on-site inspection of a reactor. This could allow its restart as early as July. Kyushu Electric Power Company filed the application with the Nuclear Regulation Authority on Thursday. The step came one day after the regulator approved the utility's equipment design documents for the number one reactor at the Sendai plant in Satsuma Sendai City. Last September, the reactor, along with another at the same plant, became the first to clear new, tougher regulations introduced after the Fukushima nuclear crisis. Kyushu Electric's plan calls for the inspection to start on March 30th. Officials hope to start loading nuclear fuel into the reactor in early June. The utility hopes to start commercial operation in late August after final comprehensive examinations. But experts say the inspection may take longer because the reactor has remained offline for a long time and it will be the first to undergo on-site inspection under the new guidelines.